Hitting the market in the coming months will be an Adidas shoe that can decompose like the food waste in your trash. Unveiled late last year, the shoe is made out of a biodegradable fiber designed to replicate a spider web. I recently sat down with the CEO of the company behind that product to get a more in-depth look at how exactly the shoe is made. What was the inspiration behind developing this fiber? The inspiration was to give consumers a new opportunity. High performance material is great and we all want to use those, but um, we wanted to do something else. We want to have a high performance fiber so you can still have your high performance products. But in the final end, um, after the lifetime of your product, the end of the life cycle, we want to have it biodegradable. Right, and the BioSeal fiber is also more environmentally sustainable, so it's partially inspired by naturally occurring processes, right? It is, it is. The founders of the company, um, they looked into um, evolutionary processes, they looked into um, what kind of um, fibers are really high performance fibers in nature. And um, so they looked at um, spiders, they've optimized uh, um, their thread. And what they did is they analyzed exactly you know, the process, how they're doing it, the protein structure and everything. And they tried to um, come up uh, with something close to it uh, and potentially even better. Um, and that's then that became our biosteel fiber. At the core of the fiber is this raw silk powder which is produced through a bacterial fermentation process similar to making beer or insulin. The powder is combined with a liquid agent and then spun into the biosteel used to make the Adidas shoe. How many vials would you need to actually produce a whole shoe? You would probably need around about, um, depending on the shoe design, 20 to 25 of those vials for one shoe. So the shoes being biodegradable doesn't mean they're just going to fall apart on your feet while you're out for a run, does it? No, it's not. I mean, we did a lot of tests. Uh, um, you know, people are running constantly with those shoes for, you know, hundreds of miles now, um, this is not going to happen. But by the time you throw it away and you bring it into conditions, uh, um, weathering conditions, bacteria, enzymes attacking it, wastewater treatment, it is going to decompose um, over time. Other than that, you have the full high performance uh, when you're wearing it um, for, for many years.